The Markermeer dikes protect 1.2 million North Hollanders from floods. Large parts of the dike between Hoorn and Amsterdam have been rejected because they no longer meet the safety requirements. The Markermeer Dikes Alliance will make the dikes safe again for the next 50 years. The Markermeer Dikes are unique. For centuries, the winding dikes have protected the hinterland with its deep polders, archaeological and landscape values. Natura 2000 areas, large cities, picturesque villages and tourist attractions. The versatility of the area and the soft soil of clay and peat make dike reinforcement complicated. Every part of the dike requires custom work. Fortunately, the Alliance consists of the best water experts in the Netherlands. They conduct extensive research, focus on innovations and design a dike that is not only safe, but also fits into its surroundings. Module 10, Noordeinder Volendam, covers 1,100 meters from Cape Volendam to Noordeinder. It is characterized by businesses tucked behind the dike on Julianerweg, with houses built in Noordeinder against the dike. The dike at Noordeinder has been declared unfit in terms of inward stability, outward stability, height, and quality of the stone revetment. Along this part of the Nordinder, three different solutions are at hand to restore the safety of the dike. A full outward axis offset of 10 meters in the northern part and in the middle of this section. In the southern section, we will widen the crest of the dike by about 10 meters. To minimize inconvenience to the surrounding area, most of the material will be transported by water. We will use fairways and unloading keys and we will have an outer dike construction road set up. Stone revetment will be placed on the water side of the roadway to ensure the dike remains safe during construction work. In a full outward axis offset, we will first excavate a part of the existing dike. For all reinforcement solutions, we apply vertical drainage and preload with sand. The drainage ensures that the water runs out of the drain from the ground, the subsoil settles and increases in strength. The preloading will force water out of the subsoil and reinforce it. Everywhere along the route, after a period of rest, the preloading will be excavated, the new dike finished and the current one removed. With the outward axis offset in the northern section up to the industrial estate, the road will remain in the same place. A new combined cycle footpath will be constructed on top of the dike. In the outward axis offset in the middle section, the road will also remain in the same location, but will be lowered. Again, a combined cycle and footpath will be located on top of the dike. In the southern part, where the houses in question are located, we will apply an outer dike reinforcement with a widening of the crest of about 10 meters. To achieve this, we will bring from the construction road into the outer crest of the dike over a length of 500 meters an auxiliary screen to maintain stability of the dike and houses during the dike reinforcement work. Temporary vertical drainage will be installed. Anchors will maintain the auxiliary screen in place. Once the auxiliary screen has been inserted in the ground, we will be able to preload. For all three reinforcement solutions, we will eventually finish the dike with clay, apply rock fill underwater and stone revetment on the dike. Finally, soil will be placed above the stone revetment and we will sow grass. The construction road will be fully removed after completion of the work. Construction activities in Module 10 are expected to last almost three years. This includes rest periods.